This is a simplified guide on how to dock in Kerbal Space Program. Once you know how, the process is actually very easy and it's a very useful thing to know how to do. We're going to be using this small vessel as an example. We'll dock two of them together in orbit around Kerbin. This vessel has all of the basics we need for docking, plus a few things to make things easier. Obviously the most important part to have is a docking port, but once you have the process down, you can also use an advanced grabbing unit, or a claw, to do the same thing. The next thing you'll need are some RCS thrusters and monopropellant. I prefer to use the four directional thrusters as opposed to the linear ports or the Werner engines. This is because these thrusters easily give us all of the different possible directions that we need for docking. Make sure that you have four of them placed in symmetry both above and below your vehicle's center of mass. This is important so that it helps the vehicle stay in line when you're moving around. You don't need nearly as much monopropellant as you probably think you do. I tend to use a couple of these small spherical tanks. Unless you're piloting something absolutely massive, this should be more than enough. And of course, we want a power source and some solar panels. Finally, although not completely necessary, it helps to have a couple of lights to light up your docking port in case you happen to be out of the sun. To begin with, let's get both of these pods in orbit. One of them is 100 kilometers above the surface, and the other is at around 75. There are two steps to this procedure. The first is the rendezvous. Click on the vessel you would like to dock with and select Set as Target. The target's trajectory will turn green and you will see two nodes appear. These are the ascending nodes and the descending nodes. These mark where your orbit intersects with your targets and they also show you what the difference in inclination is between the two vessels. Before we can meet up with the vessel, we need to correct this difference in inclination. Create a maneuver node at the next ascending or descending node. I find it helps to switch your focus to the planet or whatever body you're orbiting so that it's not constantly moving. Depending on which node you're at, you'll want to drag on either the normal or anti-normal node until you see the ascending node and descending node switch places, much like when you're circularizing your orbit. I find it's best to try and get a sweet spot when they're right in the middle of switching. Once you have your maneuver set up, warp to it and carry it out. Depending on how much delta V you have to use, you may find it worth it to use your RCS thrusters instead of your engine. Enable RCS and use the H and N keys to move forward and backward respectively and carry out the node. If you overshoot it like I did here, you can always use RCS to back yourself up. You should now have an ascending and descending node of 0 degrees. For the next part of the rendezvous, create a maneuver node just behind your vessel and drag prograde until your vessel's trajectory intersects with your targets. You should see a pink and orange node appear on the track. These nodes show you and your target's position at that point of intersection. Drag the maneuver node around the orbital path and see if you can get two of the same colored nodes to line up with each other. If you cannot, then return the maneuver node to behind your vessel, right click it, and press the right blue button to add orbits onto the node until you see the two nodes cross over one another. You should then be able to drag your maneuver node to the exact point where the intersection nodes line up. You may have to play a little bit with the prograde and retrograde to get them to line up exactly. If you hover over the node, you can see how far you and your target will be once they cross over the intersection. Your goal here is to get it under one kilometer. The closer to zero, the better. However, it may be that you cannot get it exactly to zero. This is okay. Warp again to the next maneuver. Depending on how many orbits you had to add, this may take some time. Once we get to the maneuver, we want to point prograde instead of at the node itself. The node really is there just to tell us when to start burning. Remove the maneuver node and burn slowly prograde until the intersection nodes reappear. 
Watch them carefully. When they get down to their lowest point, stop the engines. Again, they may not exactly reach zero, but this is okay. If you need to, use your RCS thrusters to fine-tune the separation. Warp closer to the intersection. As you do, change your velocity reading to target mode. Your prograde and retrograde nodes will change to reflect your trajectory in relation to your target vessel. You'll also see two new nodes appear which point you directly towards and directly away from your target. Point your ship retrograde in preparation for the final burn for rendezvous. Depending on how fast you're going and what engine you're using, you'll want to time your burn so that you reach 0 meters per second at around the time you meet your closest distance. However, one of the perks of target mode is that you can slow yourself down without affecting the degree of separation at the intersection. Hover your cursor over the target vessel to see your degree of separation. You'll have to determine when is the best time to start the burn. Burn until you reach 0 meters per second. You have now successfully rendezvoused with your target vessel. The next step is to perform the docking maneuver. Some people use both the rotational controls and the linear controls at the same time on their keyboard to do this, but I personally prefer to switch to docking mode and press space to switch between the different controls. You decide what's best for you. Note that when you're in linear control, you cannot rotate your vessel, so try not to get confused. If you are not using any mods, right-click your docking port and select Control from here. This will give your navigation ball a little bit more precision. Rotate your vessel until you are facing the target node and use your RCS thrusters to accelerate towards your target. Be sure not to go too fast that you can't slow yourself down in time. You can use time acceleration to speed things up as well. I also like to orient my vessel so that it matches my keyboard. Switching to linear controls, I give a small puff of air so I can determine which direction is up, and then rotate my vessel accordingly. Once you are within about 100 meters of your target vessel, you should be able to see the docking port. Right click it and select Set as Target. Slowly accelerate towards the docking port, using the linear controls to keep your prograde on the target node. Be sure to rotate your vessel as well so that its orientation lines up with the docking port. Use your camera to make sure that you're properly lined up. Also be sure that you aren't going too fast, otherwise you'll simply bounce off the vessel. Once you are close enough, the two ports will attract towards one another and complete the docking. That's how to do it in stock. However, I would highly recommend you download the Docking Port Alignment mod, which makes the whole process even simpler. Rotate your vessel again so that it's facing your target and open up the alignment window. You should see something like this. The first thing to do is rotate your vessel until the orange crosshair is in the center of the grid. It may take some time to get used to how this crosshair moves. Next, roll your vessel until the orange bar at the top is lined up with the center. Finally, switch to linear mode and use your RCS thrusters to match the yellow crosshairs with the green crosshairs and burn until the yellow crosshairs turn prograde. As you get closer to your target, the green crosshairs will move around. Stay on them with the yellow crosshairs and you will eventually line up with your port. Be sure to watch your speed so that you don't ram into the target vessel. As long as everything stays aligned, you will eventually dock. I hope this tutorial has helped some people. Although there are a lot of steps to it, docking is actually a simple process once you know how to do everything. Practice it a few times and it eventually becomes second nature. Good luck and have fun!